This review is of Northeast Fruit Mix and Natural Juice, kosher, product of China, and in half a cup has got no fat or cholesterol, 10 milligrams of sodium, 14 grams of carbs, of which two are dietary fiber, 17 are sugars that are not added, and one gram of protein. And these are the ingredients. Now it's going to be a little bit sour, because of, the, because of the citric acid. <clears throat> so I'm just going to warn you right now. When you taste it, I mean, I taste it. That's the risk. That's the big problem with canned fruit. They have to put in something sour to preserve it. And the consequences can be unpleasant. Now, um, this is from 2019. Best, uh Produced in 2019. Best Buy, I'm not sure about. 2022 is the Best Buy. Um, so, does that mean you can't eat it after 2022? Well, that depends. So, if, for example, you look at the can. Like, this one is expired. This one was uh, has a Best Buy of uh, 2022. Uh, August of 2022. However, if you look at it, you can see it's been sitting for a long time. I got this at a food pantry, I think. You can slightly notice, if you're paying attention, that the top is a little bit pushed out. But it's easier to see it from the bottom, at least it is for me, that the bottom has been pushed out. So if you have a can of something and you can push in the bottom, like this one, is from 20, um, production 2020, Best Buy 2023, nothing. This one, production, uh, Best Buy 2021, nothing. And all the other ones that I've got that are old, nothing, including this Northeastern. This one is going in the garbage because clearly there's bacterial activity, probably anaerobic, probably will kill you if you try to eat this. So that's a simple trick. Now, the longer you leave the fruit in the can, even if it's not um, decaying bacterially, it does get mushier. It does get uh, less distinct in the colors. And also, depending on what the lining of the can is, there could be chemicals that are being introduced into the liquids and thus into the, the solids. The peaches are quite soft. Um, it's it's okay. Um, not really excited about it. I, I you know, I, I'm not a big fan of canned fruit, just to be honest. And um, I'm especially not a, a big fan of mixed canned fruit. Um, but at least they put in natural juice. So if you don't mind adding a little dash of, say, sucralose, I've got this stuff is supposed to be 20 times sweeter than sugar. I put in a little scoop like that into a can of this, and suddenly it's like, oh, so much nicer tasting. It, it counterbalances the sourness of the citric acid that's used as a preservative. Um, but without that, you know, I, I'm going to call this a, a five. Um, for flavor. Yeah. It's just just okay. And that's probably also because of the age. Um, because as it ages, stuff in the, the flesh of the fruits is going through uh, osmosis and diffusion into the liquid, which makes them less flavorful. Which theoretically should make the... The liquid more flavorful. So let's let's uh, find out. I'm going to add some of this. I'm going to add one scoop of this sucralose. And there we go. And I'll just stir it. Now I know for um, from having done this with a the can of pears that I just reviewed, that this is gonna immediately make it taste sweeter as far as the juice is concerned. Oh yeah, 
That's so much nicer. So much more palatable. And it doesn't help the fruit as much because I'd have to leave it to sit for a while. So the osmosis and diffusion could introduce the sweetener into the fruit. But if I were, that would, um, you know, that's a solution if you've got a, a can of fruit and you're like, eh, this is boring or this is too sour. This is a solution. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll give it a, a, a five. It just isn't, you know, compelling to me. But if you like fruit mix and you don't mind, you know, getting a little bit when it's still really fresh and you don't mind adding a little bit of uh, sweetener, uh, not sugar, and let it sit maybe an hour. I, I, I'm not really sure how long, honestly, but I would try an hour and see if that helps enough. I mean, immediately, the if you've got natural juice like this does, you'll immediately be able to drink that. Now, if it's packed in syrup, like this expired can here, that syrup should be tossed because if it's packed in syrup, you don't know what is the, the syrup is made of um, unless it is very clear on the the packaging. So if you see high fructose corn syrup, for example, toss it. Even if it's just regular corn syrup, toss it. Um, it's best to buy only stuff that's in natural juices. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.